Well, back here at home, it is the end of an era for all of us here at AZ Family. Oh, it is tough to talk about, but it is great to celebrate so many years of success. We told you uh, starting at 6 o'clock that today would be the last day that Bruce and Jerry would be flying the Lions Roofing News Chopper regularly for us here at Arizona's Family. Uh, and they just made the landing a couple of minutes ago, been giving us some, some great shots around the valley and sharing some looks back at uh, the early pictures in the early days. And so we understand that there might be some company awaiting Bruce and Jerry over at the hangar. So uh, let's check in. Look who it is. Oh, hi, Gibby. If Gibby's there, you know it's about to be a party. Good morning. Yeah, it is about to be a party. Here's the thing. You know, when I came here to interview 27 years ago, the person they sent me out with an interview with to make sure that I was okay to work here was this man you see right behind me. Him and Dan Davis took me out for my interview and Bruce was watching me while I was setting up an interview and had everything set up. So I'm glad that I'm here because here was the guy, when I first started here, gave them the thumbs up to say, hey, you know what? This kid is gonna be okay, but I do have a bone to pick with them because in that same day on my first day of work, it was the Norwalk earthquakes. It was Martin Luther King Day, Bruce. I was standing outside of Terminal 4. You came up to me and you asked me if I had any money. And I had a $20 bill. I had just moved into town. It was going to last me the whole week. You took it from my hand and said, hey, remember this. Always tip the sky cap and your equipment will always get there on time. <laughs> You're right. And that's, you know what? I'm sure you still do that, right? Because you know what? You got to tip the right people to get your stuff where you need to go because you don't want to end up in San Francisco without your camera. You know what? Come on out because here's the thing. You pulled up, bud. And there was people here to meet not only you, but Jerry, I want you to get in here, Jerry. You're part of this as well. You guys are part of the Chopper Guy Lions Roof and News Team. I need you guys both to come in here. I got some people that want to say hello to you because, as I mentioned, as I'm going to try to get my $20 back before Woo! we leave here. Look who's here to greet Bruce, all his friends and family that are here celebrating a great Great, awesome career when we have in here. Come on in, guys. What'd you think? You thought this was over, right? You knew we were gonna let it in. Look at this. Woo! I love it. As you're surrounded, you come in. Did you ever think this time was gonna come? You know what? It's only been 37 years. That's it. It's only been 37 years. So all I can say is when you do something that you love for a living, then you know. Time flies, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to keep flying. I'm going to keep doing really cool stuff, but yeah. Well, let's show people what we are talking about. We have a story we're going to show that really shows what we're talking about. All right. Hey! And I'm Bruce Sapper in News Shopper 3, and I have a very special guest up here with me. I'm Bruce's mother. Good morning, Arizona. Hey Dad, I just wanted to call and say how proud I am of you. You've been able to accomplish some incredible things in the last four or five decades you've been working and you've built your own company from the ground up and you've really turned to someone I aspire to be like in the future. Hi Dad, it's your favorite flight attendant. I just want to say thank you so much for being the best mentor and the father a girl could ask for. I will always cherish our memories we made at Channel 3 from Take Your Daughter Workday to the Christmas parties as well as watching the fireworks from the helicopter every 4th of July. I'm excited for your next journey in life, and now you have a little extra time to travel the world with me. I love you so much. We're here at the hospital this afternoon with uh, the doctor who delivered this little co-pilot here. And Max, um, what do you think? Hey, Dad. It's your uh, favorite pilot coming at you live from Tempe. Um, I just want to say congratulations on an awesome career. Um, I can't believe how much you've done, how you started your own company. Um, I want to take the reins on that one. Um, I'm already a pilot. I'm already following in your footsteps. Um, I love you so much. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't be there. Uh, I'm just I'm just so proud of you and there's not many words I can describe how thankful I am for you. So uh, yeah, congratulations. Have a great day. Love you. There you go. There you have it. A lot of folks just uh, know that they've been touched by Bruce as he's going around the whole room here just celebrating those who celebrated this his time here at 3TV. But I, as, as I mentioned, where's Jerry? Jerry, where'd you go? Did he hide from me? Oh, he's right here. Jerry, as I mentioned, it's not a retirement. You guys no. are still going to be doing your thing. Oh, yeah. What was it like to fly with Bruce and you guys together both putting this on? Well, I, while I had him for just a few seconds before I landed, got a little bit emotional. I'm still a little emotional. Um, 
Bruce, you've been the best boss that I've ever had. He's, he's amazing. I want to tell folks that sometimes you meet, so I grew up, and I always tease Bruce about this, I watched him when I was in high school, and never in a million years would I have ever imagined that I'd be flying with him. It's been an absolute privilege. Well, it's been a privilege working alongside you as well, just to let you know. And so for the next couple hours here, we're going to come on back. We're going to meet with Bruce, and we're going to show you some of the videos that he and Jerry have put together throughout the years, as well as just what he meant here to 3TV, guys. Oh, I love this, Gibby. And Bruce is always the man about town. He knows everyone, and everyone knows Bruce. So there goes <laughs> Bruce does. doing what Bruce does. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No doubt about it. Uh, an ambassador probably, you know, in every Valley community. Everybody knows Bruce. Hey, there goes Bruce. He used to be the uh, ad that was running on 3TV for many years. And even Scott Passmore, who has been at the station, what, 28 years? Or I think we've got to 30 years. He um, says oftentimes people will come up to him and say, hey, I really love your work. You're great up in that chopper. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Everyone knows Bruce. <laughs> and let me tell you, I can't wait to hear from Lisa. I'm assuming we're going to hear from her in the next hour. But, you know, um, when Lisa came here, she was the gorgeous young reporter and uh, Bruce managed to snag her. <laughs> so good on him for that. But yeah, they're a fantastic couple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, you certainly got game when you have a helicopter and, you know, you <laughs> You could take Good somebody uh, uh, up in the skies uh -huh. and then propose. Didn't he propose on top of a mountaintop or something like that? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I believe it was in the Other air. level. Yes. yes. It's true. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're going to continue celebrating Some more Bruce. of this coming up. All right. Good stuff out there. Well, it is a bittersweet day here at Arizona's Family Guys. No doubt about it. One of the most familiar faces and voices in our state is taking off on a new adventure. Yeah, today is Bruce Hafner's last day with Arizona's family. Don't worry, we'll still see him around. He's coming out with his own show. We'll hear about that later, hopefully. But this morning, we are taking a look back at the incredible 40 years, almost 40 years of Bruce. Take a look. Hi, Bruce Hafner flying the Fort McDowell Casino News Shopper and I like to call my helicopter a magic carpet ride. You want to be in this business, you got to be faster than that, son. Ever since I was a kid, and every red-blooded American kid I know, Tara, has wanted to fly a fighter jet. And for an hour this week, I was the luckiest guy on earth. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Bruce, are you having a good time? Oh, great time. Good evening. Hi, Bruce. After Noel Torquist up at News Chopper 3, heading out to see what's going on. And every time I fly through a hay fire, I go home and my beautiful and lovely wife, Lisa, says, did you go to a barbecue place today? Because we actually smell it up in the helicopter. And speaking of Lisa, I just got to tell her, happy anniversary, sweetheart. Scott, I've known you a long time. Olivia, 20 years today I with know. Lisa. Oh, and standing right next to me with his beautiful wife, Lisa is Bruce Hafner, Lisa, Max, and guys, you just heard it, Bruce, some of the stuff you got to do, but what were some of your favorite moments? I mean, in, in, is it when you were flying or when you were cameraman, what were some of the best moments? You know what, that's the best part about my job is I couldn't decide what I love better, shooting or flying, and all the photographers that fly in the back seat with me will tell you I'm a, I am a pain in the butt because I'm always telling them how to shoot. But you know what? Uh, it's been incredible because both of those things I love and to be able to do those every day and they paid me for it, that was awesome. So anyway, um, my son Max is now a pilot. He is here with us, ready to eat the cake. And Lisa too. And uh, Max, I don't know, uh, you've got a future in flying. What do you think? Um, well, I don't think I'm going to go the helicopter route. That might be uh, after I'm all said and done when it comes to flying airplanes. But I just want to carry on the legacy a little bit, um, you know, get to the airlines, fly you and mom around to Hawaii and all that good stuff, and uh, get a plane of my own someday. And I'll tell you what, look at the camera and give him one of your smiles, buddy, because this <laughs> kid right here has the best smile in the world. And Lisa, what do you have to say on my last day? You're kind of concerned that you don't think I can uh, 
make anything going forward here because I've been done doing it's so well with so, TV3. It's been so emotional. I mean, Caitlin grew up on Channel 3. And my daughter, Caitlin, has flown with me. Take your daughter to work day many times, right, honey? Yep. <laughs> you know, the best part about this, though, Lisa, honestly, is that you guys have been able to see what the community loves about you guys. I mean, there's not a place that you can't go that people understand what they say. They'll say, look, I remember when I was and they remember you being a part of that. I, I could say the same thing because I was but Max's age when I first started yeah. at 3TV. Yeah. And to have Bruce just follow me and just teach me the ways all the way through, that's the special part. And I know he's touched a lot of people in the community in that way, Bruce, the fact that you're still going to be here, though. Yeah. That's the best part. Yeah, Let people know we're, we're, you're, not gonna, you're gonna be in the valley. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be here in this hangar, this beautiful hangar, and uh, basically uh, doing my own show, Chopper Guy, doing all the really cool stuff. I won't have to do accidents and things like that, you know? Well, it's neat too, Gibby, like you mentioned. I remember when Caitlin was little, we did the school visits. When Max was born, viewers would send gifts from people I have never met. We went through so much, and really, it's the community that has embraced our family. and. You have, I know you know what that's like, and we can't thank the viewers of Channel 3, dedicated viewers who've really been with us 37 plus years, I know. And I just gotta thank the viewers because you are the most important people, and I will tell you, I have three ring binders this thick, I've got 10 of them in my uh, office at home with all of your letters and cards and wishes and everything you've ever sent me. It's just been amazing and I knew right then that we had something special going with News Chopper 3 and now the Lions Roofing News Chopper because you guys, you know, I'm able to take you guys flying with us every day and mm -hmm. that's what I love doing and I'm going to continue doing that on the Chopper Guys show on YouTube, so stay tuned. No. So many great memories, Hi. Bruce, and I think you've had an influence on all, all of, of our us. careers yeah. oh, uh, watching you and just showing us how Amy. simple you make it look. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and I just, want, I just wanted to thank one more person. This girl right here, Amy, Amy Cockerham, Scott Bowerbank's sister, who not through Scott Bowerbank, but through our sons, Max and Max, who are now ASU roommates together, met oh, wow. in... Uh, when they were four years old at preschool and Amy wow. came over to me and Lisa one day and said what'd you say I think you know uh, my brother I said I'm Scott Bowerbank's sister yeah <laughs> and she goes you may know Scott and I go yeah well he just taught me to fly and he's my backup pilot I do know Scott so anyway <laughs> give me a kiss honey Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. anyway we go on vacation with them every summer we're great friends we we joke about Scott as if he's still here so it's a wonderful relationship so there you go Gibby Thanks to all the viewers. Thanks to everybody that's gotten this far. We're not done yet. We have some more stuff yeah. to find. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he's not going anywhere. I thought anywhere. I was done. What is this? Good morning, Bruce. <laughs> no. My face hurts from smiling. Wow. Oh. <laughs>